Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to the worst 20 elite figures in the Mattel Elite line. Now we're going to look at figures in the series 1 to 100 uh, and we're going to try and find the bottom 20, the worst 20. I've got to say though, Mattel do such a good job. This was not easy. So the first figure we've got is this R-Truth. And uh, for me, this is just pre-True FX. Um, I don't like the facial expression on this at all. Bland and boring. Uh, and honestly, like R-Truth has got some great figures. This is not one of them. Then we've got this IRS and there's not much to this. I mean, it's basically uh, like legs that are painted black. There's a top part that's painted white. There's We do have the braces and the tie and the collar detail. Um, there's some glasses and a briefcase there, but there's really not much to this figure. We easily could have got away with this being like a basic. Then we've got this Adam Rose and it makes the list because really the facial hair for me. There's a few accessories here. Ring gear is okay. Um, I think this probably would have looked better if they'd have put the accessories separate rather than putting them all on him. Because when you look at it in the box, it doesn't look like you're getting much there. There's a lot of empty space in the packaging. So some of this might have been the presentation, but uh, it doesn't feel like you get much. But there's a, a few accessories in there. But uh, really, for me, the uh, facial hair is why this comes onto this list, because it does look like it's just sort of splodged on. Uh, it does look like it's just been sort of uh, painted, uh, whereas now they do a much better job of printing and the figures look a lot better now. So and we've got this uh, Macho Man, Macho Man, this one that they've tried to separate the accessories here, but it's just nowhere near enough. We've had some stunning Macho Man figures uh, in the Elite line. This comes with literally like a hat and shades. You do get like a rib wrap, whatever that is. You get rib wrap, which is like one of the worst accessories. And they just always struggle with Macho Man's face. Macho Man's face is one of those faces, like Bret Hart's face, that they just really struggle with. And again, another very bland expression. So this makes it for those reasons. Now we're getting some really bad stuff. I think we're really getting somewhere now. So this uh, Bradshaw, just again, we've got the painted on facial hair. Uh, I don't think the face scan looks all that great. Uh, the painted on T-shirt, which I'm all right with, but I would rather have had it as a cloth T-shirt. And we'll say this comes with a pretty good accessory, which is like a giant breakable table and a chair. So this is why it's not further down the list. The accessories here are quite good. But um, yeah, I don't think that's the strongest uh, face scan. I believe the scale of these figures were out of whack as well. So I think there was a few issues here. Then we've got Samoa Joe, another splodged on facial hair. Uh, I do like the towel accessory. Uh, and I like uh, the shirt, the, the fabric shirt that we were just talking about. But uh, yeah, that face is not a great face. I don't even think the, the likeness, the shape of the face is quite right. Uh, and then you've got the facial hair problem uh, as well. But the next couple of figures on the list, they are in this position because I've said all along, like, if it had true effects, it would be better. Well, these are true effects. So these are more modern figures where we've had that true effects technology applied. And for me, they just they still haven't cracked it. They just cannot crack a Bret Hart figure. I don't know what it is about Bret Hart's face. They just cannot seem to get it right. Uh, this is a big criticism that you see on the forums as well. The Bret Hart figures uh, really do uh, cause a lot of frustration amongst figure collectors. Next up, we've got uh, Farouk Assad. I mean, there's not much here outside of a swappable head. Um, I don't believe that the helmet is removable. Um, this is just really lacking for a modern figure. This was Elite Series 98. Now we're going back to uh, Jericho. This is Elite Series 4. Uh, there's no accessories here. I think you got like a stand and that was about it. So uh, a real lack of accessories. I also think the face looks okay, but there's not much to it. Ring attire is very bland. Like this is just one of the most bland basics. In fact, I think it is the most basic bland elite figure we have ever received. Next up, we've got Daniel Bryan, and this just doesn't look like Daniel Bryan. I don't even know who this is. Um, I know they're trying to base it on Daniel Bryan when he had the really thick, really big beards, but this just doesn't look like Daniel Bryan, and the beard just doesn't, it's not thick enough. Uh, you can see the image that's on the box and then compare it to the figure. And it just doesn't look like the same person. Then we've got this Trish, and this Trish just looks like it belongs in the, a Barbie line or some kind of girl doll dot line because it doesn't look human. It doesn't look right. Um, it's one that I think has really disappointed 
Trish is one of the biggest superstars that we've ever seen in WWE. She definitely deserved a, a better figure than this. Next up, look at this from Elite Series 95. I've seen people saying that Eddie looks like a blowfish. Blowfish Guerrero. Um, I love the belt it comes with. We don't get that very often at all. But uh, again, similar to the Daniel Bryan, you know, this just, I don't know what happened to his face. It's like it just got a wide or something like really wide. Um, I feel like the shape of the face is just not right. Then we've got this Dean Ambrose, which I really don't like this Dean Ambrose at all, at all. Um, I think it, again, just looks weird. Uh, this, I think for me, was where TrueFX was just coming in at the start. And I don't think we'd quite nailed it. I don't think we'd got it quite right. I think some of the accessories here are good. I mean, you get a ladder and you get a chair, swappable hands. But again, to me, it comes down to the face. I think the, the face just looks off. Then we've got uh, Elite Series 8 Edge. Uh, this is pretty bad. Once you take the shades off, it just doesn't look like Edge. It's just, again, it's like we're trying to get Edge, but we're not quite there. You're not going to hit the target every single time. And as we said, Mattel do a really good job overall, but this Edge was a miss. So was this Jimmy. The J was really good. This Jimmy looks borderline pregnant with all of the accessories on. The J looked really good. This Jimmy just looks so bland. Just, I don't know, this looks like Jimmy when he's retired. Put a little bit of weight on, you know, reminiscing about the good times. Now we're getting into some really bad stuff. You know, this one really looks like a doll, like a Ken doll. Like you could really make an argument for this one being even higher up the list. Um, but yeah, I think this is series two. And as we said, you know, when you're going back to those early series, you are going to find a few things like this. I mean, clearly we wouldn't have a figure that looks this bad now, um, but it shows just how far the line has come. Then we've got this uh, Matt Hardy from Elite Series 2. Again, it, it feels very much like a toy. The, the face just doesn't look very good. The facial hair is just splodged on. Um, again, very like doll-like features. And so does this one. Ugh. Again, facial hair. I even think the head's a bit small on this one. Tattoo detail is good. Does come with a shirt and uh, a couple of shirts, actually, and a microphone. So there's uh, a few good accessories here, but this is easily one of the worst rock figures we have ever seen. It looks like a turtle that's lost its shell. <laughs> then we've got this Jack Swagger. I mean, Jack Swagger is big. He's imposing. Everything this figure is not. Uh, you do get a cloth singlet, which I appreciate, but that face is bad. That face is really bad. I even think the hair is off as well. Um, it doesn't look big. It doesn't look imposing. It looks a bit pathetic. And then the number one, Rhino. This is the one that so many people had an issue with. The body type is completely wrong. Even Mattel admitted they got this one wrong. And uh, future Rhinos had a much more in proportion uh, body. Uh, so the body type is out with this. The facial hair is all splodged. The chin looks super pointy and the face looks out. The, uh, there's so much about this figure that's just wrong. It just doesn't. It just doesn't work. It's it's infamous. If you go on the wrestling figure forums, this is infamous as being maybe the worst figure Mattel ever made, although there's quite a few in the running for that, uh, certainly when you include the basics. So, But I think you can see overall, uh, if these are the worst, the standard is not that bad when it comes to the worst. Um, and Mattel do a fantastic job. If you are thinking of getting into figures, I would really recommend it, certainly now with that true effects. The figures they're putting out now are easily amongst the best. So you can even look at our top 50 elite figures and it features a lot of current figures in there. So uh, check that out if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already because we've got plenty more of these videos on the way. Feel free to leave suggestions as to what future videos you would like to see down below. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.